Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick tutorial. We're just going to take a quick look at how you can blur something in Photoshop. So I use this mainly for digital painting. But your first option, the most basic option, is to come down to this left hand panel and select the blur tool. You might have a different tool here, if so just right click on it and then select blur within that. Once you've clicked on that you'll notice some options along the top here. So do play around until you find something that you're happy with. You might notice I've got the strength turned up quite high just for the purpose of this video so that it's clearer so that you can see what I'm doing easier. And once you've got this tool selected you can right click and pick from your brushes if you would like. So I'll just pick a soft edge round brush and I'm just going to press on. I'm working in small circles but you don't have to do it like this. You can hopefully see though how this is blurring that. So that's a really simple option. If I just flick between the two, you can see the difference. And obviously you can keep working over that if you'd like. So that is a really quick option to blur it. But another option that a lot of digital artists use, myself included, uh, especially for things like backgrounds, which I'll show you now, is a tool called Gaussian Blur or Gaussian Blur. I keep hearing it pronounced differently. I, I could be completely wrong. I don't know how you actually pronounce it, but I'm gonna call it Gaussian Blur. So I'll show you a quick example of that on my background. I should first point out my background has already been blurred a little bit. So this would be more obvious if it was a sharper, more detailed background to begin with. But because this is one of my older pieces, I have already blurred it a little bit. In the layers panel, I have the background layer selected that I want to blur. I'm going to come up here to filter and I'm going to come down to blur. Now there are a lot of different options here. I haven't even played around with a lot of them myself. But Gaussian Blur is the most commonly used one that I'm aware of. So we're going to select that. And it brings up this slider here. And if we just drag this along or click bit by bit, you can see the difference it makes. Again, it's quite subtle on my background. If I go much further along, you'd be able to see a much bigger difference. Obviously, that's way over the top. So I'm just going to bring it down bit by bit. But you can see how that is very blurred compared to how we started off there. Again, mine is already blurred, so it's not the best example, but hopefully you can see what I'm trying to get at there. So using this in your background is quite a good way to bring focus to your character and even make it a little bit more realistic. Just gives it a little bit of depth of field. So there you have it. Two really basic options there, just for getting a blurred effect in Photoshop. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do leave me a comment below and be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And make sure you subscribe for more content. Thanks everyone.